we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing a thrift challenge. I have twenty dollars to spend. We're gonna be balling on a budget today. I'm gonna be trying to find shoes, a top, as well as bottoms. So this should be interesting. Only twenty dollars on the docket. Hopefully my nipple don't come out. Um, yeah, shop on a budget is what we're gonna do today. Go in here. It is a sale day, so everything is half off. So anything I'm buying, it's gonna be half off. And that's good for me because a lot of stuff is like $10. So if we can get an outfit for like $10 maybe, let's push it. <laughs> now I did have to get me a little dranky drink. I'm at the doll section because I like the little creepy dolls. Like look at her, she said, uh, bitch what? Oh, uh, she's even an Instagram girl with them lips. I really do like the vintage dolls that they do sell. Like, look at this one. This is giving haunted. It's Raggedy Ann tees, but this is like hard stream. She's stunning. I would get something like this. We're at the corner of the store and I found some skates. I don't know if you guys are up to date, but Mars, he does skating. He's starting to be pro, competing and all that stuff. I do ride rollerblades. I had some before, but I threw them away. And we found two. These ones are too small, and I got these ones right here. They aren't in too bad of shape. I just gotta, you know, dust them out and wipe them up. But we got some skates for $15, but we have a sale today, so they're only gonna be seven. I think that counts as my shoes. Now we gotta find a top and a bottom because I already spent $7 of the 20. Ooh, I might get two outfits, who knows? We're in the shoe section now, although I got some skates, I wanted to see what they had. These are some Y2K vibes, but they got some marks on them and I don't like them, but I don't see too much that I like here. So, uh, yeah. We're just gonna keep on browsing. I need to find a top and a bottom. Maybe a bag or a hat. Ooh, I don't want lice. Okay guys, so I'm heavily debating on this one. It's such a cute dress. It comes with a skirt. You guys can't really tell but it's cute, cute, cute. I don't know if I want this one or do I want... I'm so indecisive about this because I already have four things and I'm already pushing it. I have like a couple more dollars left and this dress and this dress is the same price so who knows what I'm gonna go with but I'll show you guys once I get back to the house. Let me get out of here because I was blunt in the So sad because they have this outfit. Oh. For $16, it'll be half off. But this top, it's jean and it won't fit me. I mean, I think it could, but ugh, I'm on a budget and it's $20, you know? It's already half of that. But we got some good steals. I only wanted it for this sexy schoolgirl skirt because it literally goes to my ass cheeks. Like, it's for little girls. Find the little girl skirts. And it comes with a third row. Ooh. And oh, it's just so beautiful. I wish I could buy it separate, but look at this Tinkerbell one also. I got my loot. Now I'm about to hit the car. Clearly you guys seen I got the skates and I got the dresses in three bikini tops and that's that on that. As well just do outside. I got the dress. Yes ma'am, I had to because it's like Instagram stuff. And I ended up also getting this cute bikini top. Look at this. Oh, so cute. I got this Princess Bubblegum, you know, real cute, real cute. And then I had to pick up, yes ma'am, because this is just going to look so, so cute. And I got the skates, obviously, because skate vlogs are coming your way. But that's all the stuff we got. Now time to smoke and go to the house. So we are currently about to film the fantasy freestyle. This is just a rough draft of making a song. We're gonna make some magic, but follow me along. I'm not gonna show you guys too much because you're gonna have to wait to hear the whole thing. Lighting the first one. He's here. <laughs> He's here for more support, but we're lighting the first one. Yo, what up, up YouTube? A motherfucking moment. Remember to breathe and enjoy it. Um, I have my freestyle already written. He's just working his little magic and Let's see how it turns out. Like, hear yourself? No. No. Don't hear yourself. You just want to hear the beat? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's a collateral question. Doesn't learn how not to break down and stop it. 
No matter what I've seen in the past, I want better impact that we grow now, baby. I can't let it slip away. I dreamt away, it can go to waste. Go to waste. Mm -hmm. Get that shit sweet. I'm out around Sydney with my sis T. Slam big with a T. No, he wanna eat. I got your nigga cause I think that he a fucking fiend. I'm not upset you when the ice get real clean. Cause I'm a bad little bitch. Did it off on me. Fuck it. Okay, so we just left the studio. We didn't film too, too much, but now we're at Jack in the Box. We had to get some snacks. I haven't ate all motherfucking day. And. They got spicy chicken strips. So I decided to get three pizza and tell me why for like, I think it was like, how many? 7.99? No, it was like, three piece? she was like a 20. Oh, she said there's a eight piece for $20. Eight piece for the $20. So I stuck with three piece and, <laughs> and Mars got some tacos. So we finna munch and crunch and then smoke a blunt. But I'll catch you guys on the safe side. I haven't picked up the camera in a minute, but it is about a week since the studio session. I vlogged a little bit as you guys seen. We are not done. That was only a two hour session. We still gotta do ad libs and um, record a little bit more. Give a little Trish Paytas sit on the flow moment, okay? So this package came from Size Styles. He is a wig artist. He specializes in making wigs. I've been a fan of the channel for a long, long time, and we have been kicking on Instagram here and there, and I love his work. So he reached out and wanted to make a unit for me, which, oh, how heavy it is, baby. Hold on, move the whole damn cow. This is the baby right here. It came in a hefty, hefty box. Like, girl, DHL, who? We got a note, girl. This is like kind of crazy because this is like semi like my first PO unboxing. I don't have a PO box, but this is not a sponsored video. And this is like a supporter that sent something out to me. And oh, here we go. Let me read it. I don't know if I should read it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna read it on camera, anyways. Hey, Jocelyn. I hope you enjoyed this unit and I look forward to sending you more unique pieces in the future. I'm sorry it took a hot second to get to you. Your girl is a struggling small business just trying to make it out here in the world. I just wanted to let you know how many people you inspire. I found you on YouTube years ago during the darkest times and your fun personality and jokes on your videos really helped me get through this. This is the best way I can thank you. Ah! Keep doing you, boo. Enjoy this unit and do as you wish, content-wise or whatever you plan on doing with it. <laughs> Sigh. This is like, oh, so fucking cute. Shout out to the small businesses out there and shout out to all you guys that watch me and the people that I inspire out there. Oh, we got a pink box. Okay, okay. This is a cute little vlog moment. Let me know if you guys like the vlogs. Um, if you guys want more of them because I definitely can do that. This is just like a chill little short vlog. But oh my god, y'all. This is so cute. This is his Instagram logo and his website logo. And oh, come through, baby. It says Sci Styles. What does it say? Sci Styles Wake Artistry. Come through. Come on, through. Ah. It's giving professional it's giving shoebox like oh and y'all see how hard it was oh okay it says love your wig don't keep a secret show off your look come through oh this is so professional i love this and you got a little thank you sticker oh i don't even want to ruin this and this card how to care for your wig this is all the care instruction, and it says want to earn $400 off your next purchase. It shows how to do the rewards program. Oh. And also, and you do get rewards points if you do take pictures, so you can get um, $100 off if you do tag them in the things. It shows all the little goodies and perks that you get once you have a wig from him. Um, you get little purchases. Oh, hold on. We got another cord. We got another cord. Hold on. What's going on back here, Sai? What's going on back here? Hold on. Hold on. It's a little Sai style cord. 
a little thank you for your purchase card. Super, super kind, super, super cute. And he did send the ones with two stocking caps. Okay, yes, motherfucking ma'am. He gave me the good color too. Come through, come through. This is where you store your wig. Oh my God, I'm definitely gonna store this one. Then, oh my God, I see the wig. I see the wig, I'm not gonna show you guys first. I'm gonna show you guys the goodies. He got branding on branding. We got the side motherfucking styles brush and clip. How was Jordan? He got the box too. Like, don't motherfucking play with dude. Like, this is kind. I believe this is for the glueless method because his wigs are made to be glueless, so you don't really have to um, go through the whole gluing process when applying your wig. It should just be good to go and. I've seen these bands on TikTok and I never tried one, but it's like one of these type of rigid bands. You just pop it on, I believe like this. These little bumps um, grip the lace. And I never tried this. I never tried this glueless method. Just by how it looks in the pack. Look at that color. Look at that motherfucking color. Oh baby, it's giving Khloe Kardashian. Or should I say Jazzy Kardashian? I love when the Kardashians do their blonde hair. Oh my god. Falling out like a snake. I love this color already. It's giving blonde. I wanted a blonde. Oh my god, I thought it was straightened. I thought it was straight when it was in the box. But girl, it's curled. I already know when I pop this baby on, I'm gonna be done for. Look at the construction of this wig. Hold on. You can tell that this was made, handmade, with motherfucking care. Like, look. Got the little stitching. If you guys look on his Instagram stories, he literally does it all from like the coloring to all that, y'all. Like the plucking, all that. And girl, this scalp lodge. Look at this scalp. Oh my God. And hold on. Let me just. <sighs> She's so soft. <laughs> she is so soft. She is giving me my valley girl fantasy. You can literally see that he put in work. I don't even mind this on the strap because you know he did the work. Oh my god. Hold on. Sigh. Sigh. Sigh and sigh. Ooh, this band? I'm not gonna need to glue no more wigs fucking around with this band. Cause it's up and stuck. Hold the fuck on. Who am I? Y'all. Y'all. Is this the new me? I am like flabbergasted. And then it's so much hair. It's so much hair. Can we get into the back? Oh. I want to see if the lace is giving what it gives on Insta. Hold on. Oh. Sigh. Hold on. Let me get this side. Oh. My fucking lord. Y'all see why? I fuck with size stuff and I've been following him since he like interacted with me on social media because <sighs> this work oh my god I don't even want to like mess with the curls because I honestly thought it was gonna be straight when it came but how far back does that go? If you guys want to check out size stuff, I will have it all linked down below. This was not a sponsored little clip of the vlog. He literally just said he was going to be sending me something and I wanted to open it on camera because I knew his work was spectacular, but baby. What? You thought I about leave, nigga? I know. I'm looking crazy right now. I'm sorry about that. I haven't been feeling myself. I haven't been looking cute. I don't know. But today we are going to fix all that because I'm getting some lip filler. <laughs> yes, I'm getting some touch-ups. 
I haven't gone in about a year time to get the girls, you know, touched up. I did go to a consultation about a few weeks ago and they said I had to dissolve all my fillers in order to start over to achieve the look that I want. And I was like, you know what, ma'am, you're gonna have me spend $500 to dissolve this when it's not really too bad of an issue right now. I'm gonna go one more time and then try and stop you know, getting lip filler until I, you know, until the ones I get today fully, you know, um, take its toll and dissolve. But as far as right now, baby, it's supposed to be New Year. It's supposed to be my birthday, girl. I need to look motherfucking good. Yeah, we finna get two milliliters of lip filler today, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it. I am gonna show you guys the before and after, so let's get into how my lips are looking right now. Now, they're not bad at all, but obviously you guys can see the migration right here. Um, yeah, but the goal today is to make my whole upper lip look stunning and fill out the bottom just a little bit. But I need to put on some lashes and curl and touch up these curls because my appointment's literally 1 and it's 12.20. So I need to get to rolling. I'm not going to do too much makeup. I'm just going to pop on a lash and touch up these curls and then do the foundation probably later. But... Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what we're doing. What's happening with you guys once I'm done with my hair and all that so you guys can see how I'm stepping out to the appointment. But right now I got on my Faha, um, per usual, and a cute little bra. So that's what I'm going to wear. But yeah, as far as the face, you guys will see in a little bit. And just like that, um, I got my lashes on and my hair is touched up. But the Uber's here now, so I'm going to get my shit and get the fuck out of here. So I'll tap in with you guys either while I'm there. I'll try and sneak some footage. Or if I can't, I'll tap in with you guys after. It's so good. Oh, thank you. So I just got out of the appointment and my Uber's literally pulling up. But here's the lips in the sunlight. How are we feeling? I like the top lip. We focus mainly on the top lip because that's my insecurity. But yeah, I really can't see with this lighting. So I'm going to catch my Uber and then I'll catch up with you guys when I get back to the house. Fun fact, I'm scared of Michael Jackson. Just because there was a mask back in the day of him and it was really scary and it terrified me. But we are on our way to the house now. I just got in the Uber. And I'm really liking how my lips are looking. I know I'm gonna get some bruising right here because it's already getting bruised. She said I can't wear makeup till tomorrow, but I'm still gonna put on foundation around here and not to my lips. Maybe just a clear gloss. We'll see, we'll work around it. So when I get back to the house, I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, call up the plug out because you know I need the pack on me but yeah that's the agenda for today I don't know if I'm gonna film too much I might get on monkey tonight you know to show off the new lips but I just wanted to let you guys know fun fact because Michael Jackson's playing in the car and how ironic after my lips you're trying to scare me now <laughs> Okay y'all, so it is the end of the night. I burnt my chest right here, oh, I hate it. And I burnt my boob up here, but y'all can't really see that. But, oh my God, there's so much going on in the background y'all. Look at Mrs. Ma'am, girl. Fuck out the way. I finished my makeup and all that. I did not put any um, makeup on my lips. I want them to heal properly, but as you guys can see, it is just a cute little touch up, a quick little touch up. Get out my face, girl. Get the fuck out my face. I decided to put my hair up in this cute little scarf thing while I was doing my makeup and I left it on. But now I'm just waiting on the plug out. I'm about to take off this Fashion Nova top because it is exposing too much and I'm cold. Ooh. Girl, Vegas has been too cold lately. I have not been feeling it, but I stay indoors in ways like motherfucking SpongeBob. So, yeah, I'll tap in with y'all once the weed is here and I'm looking more cozy. I'm gonna have my makeup on still in my little sonnet bonnet. I guess it's giving pearl. Come on, it's giving, I don't know, giving fake Versace or somebody who's playing with me sending me these scarves. Like, girl, I'm gonna wear them though. Okay, let me just get cozy and wait for the plug. It's later in the night and I'm literally doing my nails. The plug all came through, I'm literally cozy in bed topless i'll show you guys the design i drew up on these babies real quick i'm about to get into coloring them and actually making them come to life this is what we have so far i don't know if it's gonna focus 
but it is a little monster high girl i can't really tell how she's gonna look but i promise you once i put some color on her which is what i'm going to do right now hold on okay there's a focus she is going to come to life i'm about to re-spark up this blunt and get to making her come to life I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hey, that's not focusing, but y'all see it afterwards. All right, y'all, so it is the next morning. I'm gonna show you guys the nails that I did. I'm not done with the set because I'm doing a couple different other cheerleaders. I need the melanin back in my skin, girl. What's going on back there? And let me turn off this damn heater. I have a heater on in here for when it gets too motherfucking cold in the mornings when I take a shower, girl. So this is how yesterday's nail came out. She is a cute little kawaii cheerleader. And then we got this one I did also. I did a poll on Instagram and you guys picked her. She has a little blunt. But this set's not done by any means because I still have to do three other ethnicities. I don't know if I'm going to do one right here. I have a little Japanese mommy. I have a Spanish mommy. And now I need a dark skin mommy. And I don't know what else. Maybe a monster mommy. Like, I don't know. The dog is barking. So let me get some clothes on. And let me let you guys know what I'm getting ready for right now. Because I have to look up a face real quick. By the way, I'm sparking up right now. Let me know if you guys like this lighting. It's a little makeup moment. I'm in front of my window. But I do have a ring light right under me. So... Let me know if you guys like this lighting. It might get darker, but I doubt it will get darker because it's literally only 10 o'clock. I'm not gonna talk too much throughout the makeup process. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm getting ready for. Now I said I'm getting ready for an interview. I shouldn't even be calling it an interview. It's more like a casting call because somebody reached out for your girl to be on a show. Now I can't give out too many details. I can't even say nothing. I'm just saying, you know, I'm doing a little casting call right now. But like they reached out to me personally, so hopefully I get casted and we'll just see how that goes but right now i am just doing my makeup girl i'm gonna do a quick glam something real slight it's like my everyday i'm gonna speed up the process though so enjoy the little makeup montage and if you're smoking light it up right now and enjoy the music And I'm done with my glam now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to touch up the curls. I might just suck it behind my ear today. But now I'm ready for my interview. Wish me luck. Even though, like, by the time you guys see this, I already done did it. And I might have the results for it. But I don't have much else planned today. I might just make some TikToks and take some pictures. Follow my TikTok right here and my Instagram right here. But, yeah, um, I'll update you guys if I end up doing anything. But, yeah, I just wanted to tap in and show you guys the end result. And um, if I have anything else I'm doing today, I'll make sure to pick up the cam for you guys but apart from that i'll see you guys in a little bit okay 